hey everyone creative winners here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to design this beautiful five steps infographic design and we have these two options here one is white and other is dark so thanks for all the support so please subscribe to our channel join the membership hit share and like buttons so coming back to the tutorial the very first step is to insert a circular shape remove its fill and only color the outline slightly increase the width and you can check width as per your choice now duplicate the circle and for the outer circle we're gonna one we're gonna do one thing that is edit shapes so we will remove this left node by opening it now delete these both left and bottom node or point and now we are left with this arc now we will duplicate this arc here and edit the points again and remove this left point now we are left with this smaller arc so color it so that we can easily differentiate it and now change its angle by minus 45 degrees so now it looks like this So I'm trying to make sure that it is perfectly leveled and both the points are touching the line here. Yes. So everything is fine. And we can place this arc over this blue arc. Now we will select both these arcs and press align to the top or center. Now what we're gonna do is we will Select the blue arc here and change the line style. I think this one looks much better where the points are close. Now let's try to figure out what's the best width for it. I have slightly increased the width, but it's totally a personal choice. You can keep it as it is. So I have applied blue color here just for the sake of visibility like we can easily identify now group all these together you have to select all and press ctrl plus g g for you know group so duplicate this four times and you can place all these items like this so here you have to be very focused make sure the left part of the arc of the first sorry the right part of the arc of the first circle touches the left side of the arc of the second circle now select the second and the fourth item here the fourth circle and flip this vertically now it looks like this a fluid kind of path and this is looking lovely here now group all these make sure it is well aligned now ungroup these again ungroup so that all the items are ungrouped now select this first circle now it's the time to fill the gradient colors but on the outline we are not filling any color inside the circle for the gradient we have selected two stops gradient on the left we will select this dark blue color and on the right we will select a slightly brighter blue color now slightly change the angle to 45 degrees now use format painter and apply this color to all the circles so that we have the same setting on all the circles now we just have to change the color so here you can either follow a similar color scheme like where all are blue or you can apply different colors 
It also depends upon the color of your brand or logo for which you are creating the presentation. But make sure the colors are highly professional. So this part is quite repetitive, but interesting because, you know, colors are very important and especially for the subconscious mind, they help consume the information in a better way. So pick a nice color scheme from the various online sources or Google or Pinterest. Just type color palettes and they'll find lots of options. Also, I would suggest to read about color theory, complementary colors, and how to apply different color schemes. It will save your time. And then you will not require any you know, color palettes. Then you can create your own color schemes. Now what we're gonna do is we will select all these paths, the arcs, and apply the gradient colors on these arcs. So for the first arc, we will apply the same, we will apply the same color as we have applied on the first circle. So we will follow the same pattern on all the arcs. We will use the corresponding circles color on the arc. I mean, again, the process is repetitive here. We can easily do this. So meanwhile, what, what you can do is you can hit the like button if you really like the tutorial till this moment. And I would also request you to uh, create this slide while watching this video. You can always stop. Also reduce the speed of the video by pressing the cog icon. Then there you can reduce the speed. So YouTube has this great functionality in the videos where you can slow down the videos. In order to design a nice presentation, patience is very important. I see people while, uh, while designing the presentation, uh, they are impatient. They tend to give less time to design the presentation and then they are not able to create a nice presentation because they haven't spent much time on thinking and how to make sure that this information is good for the consumption of the reader. So these are some important points that one must remember while designing the presentation. Second is the alignment. I see lots of presentations uh, where alignment is nowhere. They have just randomly placed information here and there. It's like placing things on your table. It's similar to that. And third thing is the colors. I've seen people using some random colors. Like if it's a 10 slides PPT, each slide has its own color. So there are also people do it wrong. And also content plays a very major role here. If your content is crisp, short, to the point, and it directly hits the mind of the readers, then it's wonderful. Otherwise, if you're writing a complete sentence, starting with uh, like there was a complete uh, plan about targeting this whole uh, project, then this and then this. So that's how it will not work here. You have to mention just two words like strategic plan. There you can write some bullet points. So that's how it works. So coming back to the tutorial, we have filled colors on the arcs. Now we will fill colors on these small arcs. And here we will fill solid colors, but you can also fill green color. I'm just filling the solid colors here because I think then there will be too much of gradient feel in this presentation. So these solid colors will balance the colors here. So that's what I think. I've slightly reduced the width. 
Also, you can change the, you know, the type of this stroke to round. Currently, it's rectangular. It's called the joint type and the cap type. Also, you can also change the arrow type here. I have I've chosen the arrow type as circles, small dots. So these look really nice. So it's looking wonderful. The infographic is almost ready. Now we will select all these and slightly reduce the width here. Now we have to remove these extra points here. Now delete this point and delete one from the end as well now let's write some text here so we are putting the numbering here in the form of a b c d e you can also write in the form of numbers like 0 1 0 2 i mean when you write 1 2 3 make sure you write 0 in the front as well that bit looks much better number and it looks more professional and i prefer a b c d e you can also put icons here but i'll use icon on the top but you can use it inside the circles as well and you can write a b c d e on the top so you can experiment here it's all about how you place things there is no set rule like you have to do this only this is this is done as per my thoughts, but you can you you know totally do your own thing. Now let's insert few icons here. So most of the people ask me from where did I get that icon stab here? So I would like to tell that it comes preloaded with Office 365 subscription. The office I have is a subscription based model it's not a complete retail version of the powerpoint it's a subscription an yearly subscription that i pay for the microsoft office 365 and in that i stay always updated with the latest microsoft office and powerpoint but you can also download free icons from various online sources there are plenty of online sources from where you can download these icons for free you can google it and you'll find many so as you can see in most of my videos i do lots of alignment placement and always take care of these things and i spend time on these small things which is very important and these are the main things which you know make every slide look good if you're presented a presented the information in a very simpler manner and if you just do the alignment then also it will look good So here you can see I'm you know selecting each component here and doing the alignment. So you can use the align option to you know perfectly align every item with each other. Now change the color of the icons here. So I was looking for the text box in the shapes. So that's how, you know, I do mistakes. So here we have inserted text. So here you have to write your own version of the text, which could be some facts, stats, some strategic points, bullet points, information, numbers, anything you want to add here. And it is not necessary that it should be in the form of headings and subheadings. It could be a small one-liner text or some keywords, some numbers. So text styling is also an art. 
go to google images and type text styling and you will find some good options there so text styling is also as important as designing shapes and infographics and it is not necessary that you follow the same font for the heading and subheading you can choose different font for the headings and some other font for the text you can also select italics for headings and normal for the text so that's how you can try different things and do not use the stock fonts always of course those are you know standard fonts and those look good but there are plenty of free fonts on google fonts which you can use and those are designed especially keeping in mind their usage across the you know across the platforms so you can use some professional fonts like roboto railway and Mozart. so these are some cool fonts which you can use So like we have added text here you can use the same you know style for text below the other shapes so this is pretty simple this infographic if you look at it and the way we have created is very simple all we have done is we have reused the components and that's the beauty of, beauty of any design where you can reuse the components and this also saves time all you need to do is just duplicate the components and then change the information rather than recreating that information now i have placed all the text items here now you can change the text so that's where your alignment will stay intact and also the formatting so that's how you save time and effort so our infographic is complete here and this is a simpler version let's create one darker version with dark blue and i personally like the darker version but many corporate people will go with the white version but i'll choose the darker one share your thoughts in the comment section which version looks much better for the darker version what i have to do is just change the font color rest everything is fine and this version is also ready so please let me know your thoughts in the comment section how do you like this video is it good okay bad so if you like this video please hit the like button also if you haven't subscribed yet i see lots of people watch the videos but are not my subscribers so i would request you all please hit the subscribe button and your subscription means a lot to me and also hit the join membership button that way you can support us so there are four items that you have to do is subscribe like share and you know join so here are the results and you can see the output and these look so awesome glossy and crystal clear so i hope you'll watch my other videos as well so please wait for my next video so till then bye bye see ya god bless peace